Alright, so today I am going to be catching darters, hopefully. Here's the area. The reason people want to keep darters is mainly because how colorful they do get. Um, here's a picture of one I've caught in the past. Setting up an aquarium for them is pretty easy also. They don't need that much, they just need a power head to make a current in the tank and well oxygenated water, that's pretty much it. Water quality is not a huge deal. spider. That is a fisher spider, I think. Like. Yep. You can see, this is either, this is probably a female. Sunfish, probably. Yep. It's got some red in its tail. It's just a green sunfish. Alright, these are rainbow darters. They're not very colorful right now because it's not the breeding season. And a few of these are probably female. There is one male back there. You might be able to see some color on him. It's almost the end of the summer, so in the spring they're they're a lot brighter. I'll throw up a picture of one in full breeding color right here. Alright, and care for these. They're pretty easy. Um, they like cold water and they like fast flowing water. So if you get like a power head, a 20 gallon long full of these uh, is really easy to keep. They won't eat anything at first, but then after about a week or two, they should start eating frozen bloodworms pretty easily. And then a week after that, they'll eat, take them out of your hand. So they're also fairly easy to keep. I think they're all rainbow darters. I'm not really sure. I know that one is, because you can see the orange on his throat, and then they do get blue, orange, and green. See some color on that one. And these get about three inches long full grown, so they don't get that big. Alright, this is some type of bluegill or hybrid sunfish. Maybe a little green sunfish in it. Their care is pretty much identical to any cichlid. They're super hardy. You can actually keep them with African cichlids. They're aggressive, so pretty much only cichlids with them. Because they will attack any other smaller fish. If you keep them with darters long term, they'll eat the darters. But this one's too small to eat much. Alright, this is a black striped top minnow. 
Their scientific name is Fundalus Notatus or something like that. They're really easy to keep in an aquarium. Just feed them blood worms. Freeze dried work better because they actually float on the surface. They don't require any special care. You can just throw them in with a normal aquarium. So they're pretty easy to keep. Alright, these are another type of sucker. They're more minnow like. Um, the main thing with these is they need a big, highly oxygenated tank. You can see right there, they're breathing very quickly. Um, they're going to go in my goldfish pond too. I'm not sure if these will survive the way home. Because they are freaking out already right now. I might just let these go now. There we go. Yeah, you can see how fast they're breathing. I'll probably throw these back. Alright, this fish here is a type of sucker. They're usually, they usually don't actually sit on the bottom like this one is doing. I've never had any luck keeping these alive, but their care is similar to that of a goldfish. They feed the same way. They get about 8 inches long is the biggest I've seen them. But this one's only in my goldfish pond, so hopefully he survives. Because they do look pretty cool from the top too, and they've got like white with black stripes. You can see there. And they act just like small carp. Yeah, you can see his mouth there. Alright, this is a Johnny darter. You can't really see his face over there. But he'll probably turn around in a second. Um, the care for them is pretty much the same as the rainbow darters. They do get a little bit bigger. I've seen these up to six inches long. Um, they'll eat blood worms, same as the rainbow darters. Their faces are actually, they have a downward pointing mouth. You can see it there. And they actually get, in, the, in spring, they'll have red spots on them, along with some green. Space there. Yep, another easy to keep fish. Alright, these here are rusty crayfish. Um, the hardest part about keeping these is they will eat fish. They will kill pretty much anything. They get pretty big. I've seen them up to five inches long. Um, they're super easy to keep if you keep them by themselves, but if you try to keep keep them with fish, something's going to get eaten. They're pretty colorful too. They get the orange tip and then they've got the red on their tail, if you can see that. And then their joints are also orangish. They usually have a big rusty patch right on their side. The orange antenna. Subscribe for more of this.